we actually do know because of peer-reviewed published research that it does get into the mitochondria. Yeah, mitochondria, powerhouse of every cell, just like with any other powerhouse that we're familiar with, there's some negative byproducts, right? So you've got these reactive oxygen species that are coming off of it. Local to the mitochondria, typically the big players in, in antioxidants are glutathione and melatonin. The theory here, and, and let me kind of personify this. So imagine the reactive oxygen species are this rowdy group of drunks at the end of Mardi Gras in New Orleans, right? And you've got the police, the glutathione and the melatonin to take care of them, right? So they handcuff them, they bond irreversibly to these guys and get them out of the body. Now you've got the presence of this ESS-60 molecule. The A theory is that it acts like a paddy wagon, right? So when the glutathione and melatonin are depleted, because that'll happen in some mitochondria in some part, part of the body, this ESS-60 molecule can grab irreversibly to these reactive oxygen species 